What's going on guys? Big BB back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, I scored one pinball machine that I've always wanted. I also got Earthshaker. <laughs> Wait until you hit a deal on this one. <laughs> Gee! Earthshaker! It's Sunny Drive time. <laughs> Take a look. Alright guys, you're not joking, not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. What do you think about this? I kind of like how this lineup looks. I'm, uh, I love it. I'm going to have to mute Earthshaker. <laughs> Forget muting, I had to take the track sound off. <laughs> Shot the intro twice. And Earth Trigger has interrupted me twice. But, man, I can't thank you guys and gals enough. Uh, I just happened to have looked at YouTube Studios and I realized I hit 8,000 subscribers. Man, uh, a thing I've never would have thought about saying. Again, I appreciate everybody that's been watching and commenting and the views and the live streams. And, uh, you know, I just appreciate everything. I'm learning from the comments. I wrote it in a nice little post. Basically what I'm implying is that, you know, I take everything that people say, um, you know, a lot of people say I ramble and I repeat myself and hold the camera steady. That's why I got the tripod. And I think the next level up is to get myself a DJI mic. Um, but again, thank you everybody for subscribing. Uh, yeah, that's, I never thought I would ever hit 8K subs. But enough of that social media plug and stuff. Let's talk about these two pinball machines that I scored for an unbelievable deal. At least in my eyes, it's an unbelievable deal. And don't worry, I did not get it for free 99. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, uh, let's look at the ad first. Let's talk about the luck. I did mention the story in my live stream uh, and pff, it's, uh, it's just, I'm still like flabbergasted that it came through, I'm just, Let's start slow. Let's talk about the Facebook ad that I saw. Again, I mentioned this story in my live streams. I've also mentioned in my live stream, especially when I was playing virtual pinball, how there is there is like a handful of real pinball machines that I would actually want to own that I feel playing it virtually is just not the same. Um, and right now in this garage, I have two out of, I would say the four machines that I would ever actually want to own uh it's kind of funny it's this is one roller coaster tycoon um it is a childhood pc game i've never played the pinball i never played the pinball version or game of roller coaster tycoon and sadly to see like you know the reviews on this game it's not it's not well liked i kind of understand why but it's just the theme slash the art slash Roller Coaster Tycoon that just drew, it just draws me in and I wanted it. Roller Coaster Tycoon is a big part of childhood. I remember, I, I remember, you know, it's a PC game. I had the original that it came like to Roller Coaster Tycoon and, and Corkscrew Follies. And I've played the hell out of Roller Coaster Tycoon. And I got excited to learn that they made a pinball machine for Roller Coaster Tycoon. The only reason I knew that is because it was on VPIN. I had it on VPX. And what's very funny is that I played it on VPX. I've only played a handful of games. And I said to myself, I was like, I'm not going to play anymore because it, I think it's going to be a different feel playing a real machine versus playing it virtually. Um, I guess I'm kind of drawn to these awful games. That's like the thing. I mentioned it to my buddy Project Canada. Um, you know, Toy Story gets flack. Godfather gets flack. Rollercoaster Tycoon gets flack. I guess I get, I get, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the games that get flat. I don't know, but again, like I mentioned before, I have a handful of actual pins that I want to, you know, own. Royal Rumble was one. Roller Coaster Tycoon is two. I am keeping my eyes out on a Sopranos, and the fourth one is like up in the air. I kind of want to play and 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 see a World Cup soccer. Um, that's not really a definite though. Medieval Madness, Cactus Canyon. Um, you know, it's like, that's like the limit. Uh, but right now, this is a solid lineup. Earthshaker just, 
happened to have been the ad I saw. But when I luckily clicked on that ad, Roller Coaster Tycoon was in the background of it. Now let's talk about the actual ad itself because I just think that the pinball gods were looking over me. I, I it's, it's just it's so crazy. So I'm gonna show you real quick a picture right here of the static, you know, Facebook ad. And what's mind blowing to me, as you could see, is the title of the ad. This is where I knew like the pinball gods were watching out for me. The person titled it as Arcade Game Earthshaker. And I've mentioned it many times that on Facebook I have my notifications set for arcade and pinball. There is no pinball in that title. So I quickly like, you know, I'm skimming through and then all of a sudden I see arcade game Earthshaker. I'm like, oh shit. This is this is an Earthshaker and it's priced at two thousand dollars. If you know me, I mentioned it many times, especially now hitting a year. I'm like a couple of days, I've hit a year where I actually started owning real pinball machines. You kind of see a trend as far as like pricing. So seeing an earth shaker for $2,000 caught my eye. Let's look at the description real quick. It says there, hasn't been used and in good condition. That is it. What's Again, mind-boggling is that the word pinball is not at all seen in this app, okay? Now, I saw it. I've played Earthshaker on location at Pinball Long Island. I had a lot of fun with it. It's, an, it's a very fun game. And then, sure enough, I did uh, a VPX virtual pinball, uh, you know, bi-weekly challenge on Earthshaker. Plays way different virtually versus, you know, a real pin. So it caught my eye, again, $2,000 for a machine. I'm like, okay, so I click on the picture. You can see that the first picture, it's just Earthshaker with a hockey stick on the floor. And I'm like, is this like in like a rec room? I suddenly swipe to the right to picture number two. And as you can see, my eyes went aruga when I saw in the background a roller coaster tycoon. And I looked right carefully, I zoomed in on the picture and I'm like, wow, Earthshaker, the side art is like immaculate. It's beautiful, especially for the age. I believe it's 1989. I look closer at Roller Coaster Tycoon and I'm like, whoa, usually like a cabinet like that, like I've seen Roller Coaster Tycoons up for sale by me for like 4,000 and where the flipper buttons are, it's rubbed out to hell. And I'm like, whoa, this is like home use. Then the other pictures are of Earthshaker and coincidentally, it's all powered off. The third picture, which I'm gonna show you right now, if you look kind of carefully, you actually see a couple of rubbers popped off. So I messaged the guy and I wanna do it, I wanna like, I'm gonna most likely just, you know, share you the screens. I wrote, would you do the Roller Coaster Tycoon for 2K? I would definitely do that if it's available. If anything, I'd offer 3K for both machines. Now, I sent this message August 1st, and it's just like the EM pins, the ones I got for free, those three EMs. The guy just doesn't look at the message, and he doesn't, like, reply back. And I forgot about it. It just kind of goes down my list, right? Suddenly now, it says here Monday. So Monday is August 12th. So you're talking 10 days, it's a week, it's probably a long week. The guy messages me, he goes, I can do 3K for both machines. They don't work fully, but you could fix it for cheap. Once I got that message up, I will do three, both machines for 3K. I said, dude, I don't even have to power it on. I'm just gonna come pick it up and, and take it home. And sure enough, the next day I went out to Jersey, 70 miles out, to go pick up both of these machines. And yes, they do fit on my Dodge Ram in the back, in, in the in the truck bed. Man, what a score! Isn't that insane? You're looking at fifteen hundred dollars per machine. I got lucky with Royal Rumble being two K. These machines here for fifteen hundred each. Granted. Earthshaker needs cleaning, rubbers, LEDs. Roller coaster has, I believe, and I was talking to my buddy Dave Souza, 
believe I just need to change a transistor as I have a couple of switches that are not registering. But same thing, this would get new LEDs, new rubbers, and I already reached out to my buddy at Retro City, pin 2 DMD. I gotta do a colorized DMD on this. But damn, two machines for 3K. It's my mother. <laughs> now I cannot lie to you, I am, uh, I don't know what the word is, is it stubborn? Is it hard headed? I don't know what it is. But I did this right here, getting these machines, no joke, it was a back breaking task. Uh, it's probably where I gotta say to myself, instead of getting a pinball machine, maybe I'll invest in the Escalera slash the Trax Escalera. These machines were located in Marlboro, New Jersey. I don't, I just like look at like the, the, you know, the location on Facebook that it suggests and I see it's like 70 miles out. I'm like, all right, I could do that. My in-laws are in Clifton. So, you know, that's not too bad. That's about like a 40 mile drive. It's an hour and a half away. I'm A-OK. -okay. Now, if you know Marlboro, which I know now, um, going to this guy's house, it was like a compound. Huge, huge house. I mean, God bless. But as I was talking to the person that was selling this, uh, I guess it was a teenager, a young man. I met the mom. Um, the guy said to me, he goes, Vic, I'm not going to be home, though, like, to help you. I said, okay, is there any steps? He goes, no, there's no steps, but there's grass. You just go, you know, you just go across the grass, and you should be okay. I said, all right. I took the pin dolly, which is the Harbor Freight dolly, and I did run into grass when I got the Royal Rumble. I wasn't expecting that much grass. Uh, I'm not going to post a picture of the guy's house and everything, but it was a big house. If you think of like, like a BJ's or like a Costco, it's like that big. I'm not exaggerating it. It was a house. And as you can see in the pictures, it's like, I'm like, is this in like a, like a, a YMCA, like a rec room? And the guy's like, no, it's in my basketball court. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> so sure enough, um, it was, it was just a battle. I did roller coaster tycoon first and I did it alone. And I'm telling you, it was a hike. I strapped Roller Coaster Tycoon to my dolly. I'm pulling it. I wound up having to pull out cardboard to put on the grass to help me roll it. No joke, it was an hour and a half just to take Roller Coaster Tycoon out. And again, it wasn't steps. It was just pulling through grass. I mean, I was pulling and then I would push. And um, I knew I was going alone. I just didn't realize it was that much grass. I should have gotten that much clearer. But Roller Coaster Tycoon, I got it in the truck. I'm a happy camper, but I'm exhausted. I am like beat. Good thing I bought like five water bottles with me. I was dying. I said, you know what? For Earth Shaker, apparently Earth Shaker wasn't working. I said, I'm gonna save my back. I actually took the head off of Earth Shaker. I took pictures of the connections. I disconnected everything. I took the head off. And then I said, okay, cool. I could definitely, hopefully muscle the cab alone. I take the cab out of this basketball court into like this guy's backyard where he has a pool and all that. And as I take it out, I look to my left and there's a in hand truck. There's a hand truck, like a dolly, like a hand truck, sitting there. And I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> I was like, but then I was like, you know what? The pinball guys were watching me breaking my back. So sure enough, I went there and I asked them, I asked the woman, I said, can I borrow this? She goes, yeah, go ahead. So I literally took the hand truck, I strapped this, and after like five minutes of going across the lawn, Earth Shaker was in the truck. Again, when I went into this person's house, I didn't power these things on. I was already like ecstatic about the price. Now some of you might be going, Vic, that's like expensive, you know, 1500 bucks, you don't know if it works. If you know pinball, it's like a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer, you, you have to get a pin like that uh i'm just i'm just happy and again originally it was for earth shaker and if i didn't click on that ad and swipe over i would have not have seen roller coaster tycoon not to mention i don't know if the guy was even gonna sell roller coaster tycoon the woman when i went there she said that this one worked she's like roller coaster tycoon works do you want to play it do you want to test it i'm like no don't worry, I just want to get this in the truck because it's like, you know, I don't want them to all of a sudden 
start changing their mind and seeing my excitement and being like, oh, you know what? I think we went too low on the price. Now, I'll be honest, talking about the price, the guy I offered, like I said, I offered 3K. The guy said, they're available. When can you come? And then like I said, I could come today. I could come tomorrow. The guy's like, come tomorrow. And then all of a sudden he hits me with, hey, I actually have somebody that's willing to give me 3,500 for both machines. Can you go up on your, on your price? I said, no. I said, absolutely not. I'm not, uh, I was like, I only want Roller Coaster Tycoon. I don't want Earth Shaker. I like Earth Shaker, don't get me wrong. I will keep it. Um, but it's not in my four to five games that I want to own. So sure enough, like a minute later, he goes, okay, listen, just come tomorrow. You got a deal at 3K. And I'm like, I have a feeling that he really wasn't, he didn't really get an offer at 3,500, but I don't care. I have them. It's in my hands. Yes. <laughs> Now it's always great because I read the comments and I've seen people message me like, Hey Vic, I scored a free Mega Touch and Hey Vic, I got a deal on this. It's just pretty cool to see. Again, I make these videos just to kind of show you what is possible. Um, let's talk about Roller Coaster Tycoon first. Because this is like the main, this is the one of four that I wanted. Um, the biggest thing that caught my eye, and I'll do some B-roll. The artwork on this, the cabinet art on this is immaculate. It is, it's, it's home use. A hundred thousand percent. This is a home use machine. I don't have to worry about, I don't worry about scuffs. It looks beautiful. Now, as I'm playing it, I got the kiddo here. She's all excited. She sees the troll bouncing up and down. The awesome, cool effect that I love about this machine is the yellow wire form that gives you that roller coaster illusion. It's such a big wire form. And I'm like, how do they fit this in a pinball machine? It is great. It needs cleaning. It's just like your standard machine. This right here, I believe is 2002. Now also to note, I now own three Pat Lawler design machines, Toy Story, Earth Shaker, and Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, <laughs> it's like, what, how, what? Um, again, this is just great. It is your standard. It's gonna, I'm gonna have to, I have to disassemble it. Definitely needs a deep cleaning. Definitely needs LEDs. Definitely needs rubbers. So as I bought this home, I got the kiddo here. She's all excited. And I did recognize, I did realize that I can't start a mode. So there's a couple of switches that aren't like registering. And I remember playing this on V-Pin and there's a shot here with like the handyman. If you do a skill shot, and the ball falls behind the handyman, you get like a skill shot. And I noticed that that wasn't registering. Again, shout out to Dave Souza, he was helping me out. I basically realized that there is a row, Q5, uh, that's not registering. This whole row, it's not registering. So basically, uh, he told me to check the wires, which I'll check later, or it might be a transistor that went out. I'm like, that's fine. I have my desoldering iron. I'm a-okay. Roller coaster tycoon. Beautiful. I right now I can't give you a full review of it. How do I feel about it? I can't even start any modes, but I did start the multi ball, and it's just so cool to see like the roller coaster and all that. So yes, happy camper roller coaster tycoon will be going into the basement. That's also a great thing too. Um, I almost called my buddy to bring down officially Royal Rumble, um, and I said to myself I was like, you know, I'm gonna give him a couple of bucks. I'm gonna give him probably about 100, 150 bucks. I was like, you know what now? I could give him 150 bucks and we could bang out three cabinets. So, and he'll obviously play some pinball with me. Uh, but yes, solid stuff, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Again, nothing really, nothing to complain about. It just needs cleaning. Like, that's it. I gotta give it the whole magic eraser, being gentle, I know, the Nuvis, the whole thing. I'm excited to LED this out. It's actually pretty cool. At the end of the video, you'll see like, you can see how Royal Rumble is versus like these two. And it's like amazing what LEDs do to a machine. Now let's talk about Earthshaker. Again, I've played Earthshaker on location. Um, I believe this is called a System 11. Quite a few games with System 11, such as Bride of Pinbot, I could be wrong. But I believe Bride of Pinbot is one, and I believe Diner is another. Diner and Earthshaker, again, I've played Earthshaker on location. I love the mirrored back glass on this. Beautiful, it is amazing. It's also very crazy to see how Earthshaker has like individual LED uh, well, bulbs in the back box. Whereas like Rollercoaster Tycoon just has a solid fluorescent tube. 
Uh, that's gonna definitely, I'm gonna have to modify that because I don't like the fluorescent look of that. Um, Roller Coaster Tycoon, like I said in the pictures, you can see that there's like rubbers broken. It's a dated machine, I believe this is 1989. The only thing I do see is that like the, the play field, it's, it is what it is. Um, it's a little beat, it's not awful, but it's got a couple of like, I feel like right here by the flipper there's a little bubbling. But it's nothing, it's nothing major. Everything works. So I opened up the back boxes on both of these and I saw batteries, there's three AA batteries and I did see the, the whole acid leaking on the battery itself, not on the boards. So the first thing I, I did, I took them out, put new batteries in, I cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, Dave Souza told me to do some vinegar and all that. And um, to my surprise, Earthshaker booted. And I got all excited. I was like, whoa, I didn't think this was gonna work. And it works, it does need a new spring. I have a spring in my Godfather downstairs. This just, it works. And not to mention the shaker motor on this is nuts. Um, I didn't think I was ever gonna own an earth shaker, but the idea basically, is, and again, I know my ideas, it's probably never gonna come to my idea where I'm planning to fix this and sell it, but I have a feeling I'm just gonna keep it. <laughs> Pinball is, uh, it's got that hold on me. Uh, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna most likely do definitely one cabinet at a time. Uh, I'll probably do Roller Coaster Tycoon first, and then I'll work on Earth Shaker. It's just, I'm like flabbergasted at the deal. Again, two machines for 1500, uh, for 3000. So that, in my eyes, that's $1,500 per machine. I've seen Roller Coaster Tycoons go for four grand. I've seen Earth Shakers go for four grand. People put their or best offer, but it, loads of fun. Uh, unbelievable, the whole California, Nevada thing here, it opens up, it's, it's a cool game. It wasn't a game that I would want, but I've played it and I've enjoyed it. So I'm happy to have these, uh, these two now in the collection. Now we just gotta fix it. That's it, it's gotta do some elbow greasing and uh, the, you know, the hardest part with this, again, swapping out to LEDs, but you have to, you have to disassemble the play field. My camera died, I'm sorry. Uh, I was just mentioning, I said, you gotta, I gotta take apart the play field, gotta deep clean it, gotta polish the wire forms. I will most likely um, flame polish the ramps. Like I was mentioning before, just like the condition of these, definitely these were home use only machines. Maybe not Earthshaker, I would probably, I don't know, I don't know. But it's just like, they're, they're immaculate. They are beautiful. I've seen worse conditioned pins. I've seen scratches and everything. And uh, again, it's just, it's, it's a score in my eyes. Um, I'm, just, I'm just excited. Now also it's very funny. Uh, I did go on Zillow and I looked up the address of this house. And in the Zillow ad, he had more machines. He had actually a Simpsons pinball party and he had a Terminator 3, but it was like in an upstairs like bedroom. Um, I was gonna kind of ask him if he still has that role, uh, that uh, Simpsons, but I was like, that's kind of weird. That's sketchy. I will just be okay with what I have. But another amazing Facebook score. Now to just fix them up. I kind of count this as another birthday gift to myself. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Well, there you guys have it. Big BP Game Case Arcades. I never thought I would say this, but after one year, again, like I said before, I have a couple of days until I would be a official owner of a pinball machine. After one year, I have owned five in my collection. If you count the three EMs, it would be eight that have been in this house. I would never have thought that. I have caught the pinball bug. Right now, I'm, I'm pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty good, I'm pretty sufficed. Like I mentioned, looking for a Sopranos. Not anytime soon though, I'm in no rush for a Sopranos because honestly, uh, on Marketplace, they're coming up at like 7K or up. Somebody by me has one that's beat up. It needs like new artwork for about 5,500 and I'm like, eh, uh, I don't think it's worth 5,500 in that state. But yes, the pinball bug has caught me. I would love to turn off the lights, but I just realized that I have Royal Rumble set to like my garage lights, so it would just turn off. But believe me, once we LED this th these things out, it's gonna be insane. 
And no worries, yes, I'm still building arcades. I got my buddy E-Rock. E-Rock 4 mounted machine guns light gun build. That's uh that's an in and out project. But yes, don't worry. I'm still uh, I'm still here. I'm still building. Man, what a score. Vic VP Game Case Arcades. Earthshaker!